Hey guys and welcome. If you are new here, my name is Melissa and I am a homeschooling mama of three kiddos. And today I am going to um, share with you my curriculum picks for my first grader for the upcoming 2020-2021 school year. So if you're interested in the first grade curriculum picks, stick around. Just before we get started, I wanted to let you know that this is not every single thing that my first grader will be doing um, because we do some things together as a family um, and we also attend a co-op. Um, so I'm not discussing um, family um, subjects or studies um, and I am not discussing co-op classes in this video. This is just the things that he is doing um, independently with me for first grade for his um, basically his core subject so I have it like all spread out on the couch around me so I'm going to um, to show you um, what that looks like so first of all for language arts um, we are going to be doing um, language lessons for a living education um, one. Now, for first grade, they actually intend for you to use, um, the, I think it's called Foundations of Phonics, or it's a phonics book um, for the first semester and use this for the second semester. But he is already really reading almost on a second grade level. Um, and so I ordered this thinking we'd do this the first semester and we'd um, we probably in January start with the second grade book um, but this even looks like it might be a little easy for him he's way ahead um, but we're gonna go ahead and stick with this um, starting in, in August and see how we do um, and it does come with um, three other books that are used throughout that curriculum that you read. Um, I, it tells you in each individual lesson at what point you read. So um, this is what we're going to be doing for language arts, at least in the beginning. If I find that this is just super easy for him, um, then I may have to rethink that. But I'm looking forward to that and um, I don't want to push him too hard. Technically, he's really supposed to be in kindergarten next year but we did kindergarten this year and so he's he's ahead so I'm not feeling like I need to rush him through um, anything so we're just gonna start with that and kind of play it by our see how we do so for math we are sticking with the good and the beautiful we're moving on to level one we did kindergarten this year and loved it and so we're sticking with it um, and it has the planner that comes with it and it also has a math activity box um, Those are out of stock. They tell me they'll be back in June the end of June So hopefully that will be soon. Okay, so that's language arts and math um, And just for funsies, I'll share science and social studies stuff with you now This year we did science and social studies as family subjects but because my older kids are so much older than four and they are both interested in science careers and they're going to be in eighth grade we're getting a little more serious about science for them um, to get them ready for high school and all the things that they'll need to do science wise in high school and history too and so um, we did the good and the beautiful history as a family together this year and we loved it um, but it's just not um, going to work for us anymore even though we loved it. I considered doing it in addition to the other um, but I just decided to switch gears this year um, for that. So I went, I really love master books, so I went ahead and I got um, My Story in the World Around Me book one which is um, essentially master books first grade social studies curriculum. Um, I don't know how, you know, um, we won't be doing this five days a week or anything, 
but um, he loves things like this and he's a little sponge and he loves to learn and so I think he's really gonna enjoy that and then I also picked um, a master books science curriculum as well the let's talk science adventures and creation level one um, again this is one of the first grade options for science in um, master books but that master books offers but i really liked it and again we probably won't do it every day or anything um well we might we'll see it's meant to be done i believe three days a week let me see if i can find that schedule yeah so they intend for you to do it um my camera's not focusing three days a week um so we'll see what happens with that um and then the History one, um, the social studies one is actually looks like it's intended to be done um, five days a week, and I don't know. We'll see how much he likes it, and um, we may do it five days a week. We may not. <laughs> so anyway, so that is my curriculum picks for my first grader. Now we do also do Bible. Um, and this year for him, he's going to be doing um, the one-year daily devotional um, for grades one and two. And I guess this is kind of technically a family subject because we all have the one-year daily devotionals. Um, I did get the grades five and six one for my middle schoolers just because the one the the level above that I just felt like I felt like they needed more guidance than it gives and I got the teens and adult one for me also I love this because um, we're all gonna be studying the same scripture on the same day um, and so we'll probably kind of do it together but not exactly together because everybody has their own little um, um, different activities that they do but anyway i mean i'm really excited about this um so this is from word of life and um so that's what we're doing for bible and i also did get for a new bible this year so we've been using um you know he he's never had a full a full bible before we've had a lot of children's bibles that we've read with him and things like that and of course we read we read to him from our bible um but i felt like it was time for him to have his very own big boy bible as they say and so i did get him the nirv um translation of the bible and he actually read a little bit of psalm 18 to me yesterday and i was very impressed so he he was like, Mom, are you sure I can read a, read read the real big boy Bible? And I was like, I'm pretty sure you can. And so he did. So he was really excited about that. And he was excited to show his dad when he got home that he can read his big boy Bible. So um, that is a quick look at my first grade picks for Ford for next year. Like I said, we will be doing some other things as a family. Um, we are still planning to do gather round unit studies on top of all this um and then of course we have co-op as well if you're interested in um what we're going to be doing in co-op go ahead and um just mention that in the comments and i'm happy to do a video and share um share about what we're going to be studying in co-op that's of interest to you we do go to co-op one day a week um, and so the kids really enjoy that and it also I also enjoy it it gives me a little bit of a break and I'm also teaching um, a class at our co-op this fall too which I'm really excited about so anyway that's our first grade picks just a quick video to show you um, what we're doing with Ford next year so I'll see you guys next time bye